Hey y'all, I just wanted to share with you uh, this afternoon for me. Uh, you can see the sun behind me. I don't know what time it is for you when you're watching this, but I just wanted to share uh, a verse with you. So uh, this verse I think is really impactful in itself and it's found in one of Paul's letters. It's in the letters to the, the Roman church. And I wanna focus on this verse and then look at another verse. And just, I think it, it makes this verse in particular a little bit more meaningful and you can see the alignment of these two verses that i'm going to share so yeah i want to do this with you guys this afternoon for me uh so if you're watching if you want to turn to your bible you can if not uh the words will come up on the screen but this is what it says in romans chapter 2 uh verses verse 29 so no a person is a Jew who is one inwardly, and circumcision is circumcision of the heart, by the spirit, not by the written code. Such a person's praise is not from other people, but from God. And I think that's a beautiful verse. You kind of, throughout Romans, Paul's dealing with this issue of what does it mean to be a Gentile or a Jew, and how do these go together? Well, what is this whole Jesus movement mean going forward and he keeps pointing to how it's this inward journey this inward experience that God's calling us on that Gentiles don't have to get circumcised like the Jew their circumcision of the heart God wants the heart and Paul keeps pointing at this in different ways and he does it in a beautiful way by never downplaying uh, the Jews and and what they've done and what God's called them to do and it's quite beautiful the way he does it throughout the letter but if we flip with me now to uh, John chapter 4, and we're going to focus on verse 24. And just to give you some context to this verse, it's uh, what Jesus is saying to the woman at the well. So the Samaritan woman at the well and him are having a dialogue back and forth. And this is one of the things that Jesus says to her. And I just really think it really aligns with what Paul is saying in Romans. And it really points to this inward journey. I think God's really calling us on. And uh, again, if you want to flip in your Bible, you can. If not, uh, words will come up for you. But this is what it says in John chapter 4, uh, verse 24. God is spirit, and his worshipers must worship in the spirit and in truth. Now, I really, I love uh, that whole dialogue Jesus is, is having with the Samaritan woman, and it's, it's kind of interesting, too, because he's talking to this woman who who basically keeps pointing out how the Jews think they're second class because, you know, all, they don't go to the temple to worship and they disagree on some things. So she, they, she's kind of having this back and forth. And Jesus is kind of saying in this statement, like, look, God is spirit. You know, he, he desires the heart. He desires people to worship him in spirit and in truth trying to show this lady that there, there's not this boundary with God, there's not this us and there's them, there's not this particular way to worship Him, this outward expression that we have to do as Christians. And I think it's important for us to reflect on that, especially with everything that's been going on uh, with COVID-19. I know restrictions are, are slowly easing, which is awesome. But I think it's important for us to, out of the season, when we're coming out, to remember that our journey with God isn't something of an outward expression. Like, there will be outward things we'll do, but it's not about that. The reason we do the outward things is because of the inward journey that we're on. And as Christians, we need to be brave enough to take this inward journey, which takes a lot more work, if you ask me, because I reckon it'd be easy as a Christian to show up on the Sunday, uh, you know, watch all the right movies that you can get, all the Christian movies, all the Christian music, and do all that stuff and have this outward appearance where I look like a great Christian. I can quote all these Bible verses, all this different knowledge, all this different stuff, but I've done none of the inward work. I haven't really opened my heart to who God is. I haven't let God come in and really change me from the inside out. Instead, I've tried to go from the outward in. And that's not what God's calling us. That's not what Jesus speaks about. That's not what Paul's speaking about in Romans. He's speaking about a God that desires our hearts, that desires us to go on this inward journey, this circumcision of the heart, as Paul says. 
opening up ourselves to who God is. Because it's not going to look the same outwardly as everyone else. Yeah, we'll go to church and we'll gather together and we'll, we'll do certain things together as that outward expression. But the outward expression throughout our whole lives will be different. The way I express my, my love for God and, and showing that to others is different to how my wife Kim will. And that's okay because what God desires is the heart. And I think it's really important for us when we're coming out of this COVID season, when there's this excitement to rush back into the way things were, to get church back to normal, as people say, and all those kind of things, to maybe just for a moment take a step back and make sure we're doing the inward journey with God. Make sure that's the first thing. It's not excluding the outward expressions. It's not saying we shouldn't get back to church. I'm excited for when we can gather again, when we can uh, have different things happening and be in community together. I can't wait for that. But I really hope I don't rush to that and I miss doing the inward journey with God. And I really want to encourage you, uh, whenever you're watching this uh, as a church, just to make sure we're doing that inward journey with God. Because that's what God desires. It's not these outward expressions or legalistic ideas. It's this inward journey, this opening up of who we are, letting God come in and experiencing who God is and allowing that to change us from the inside out and trusting that. And I, I just want to pray that all of us as Christians can just lean into that this week. Lean into that as we're coming out of this post-COVID season, into the, the new normal, because things aren't going to go back to normal straight. They're going to change. And as a church and as Christians, we need to really look and see, all right, what, what do we want to do different? What have we learned from this COVID experience that we want to take forward with us into this new normal that we're going into? And I think for us to do any of that, we need to be on that inward journey with God. So I want to encourage you to take a step back this week. Really focus on that. Sit with God in that and open up your heart to who God is. Experiencing Him in a new way. That might be finding some time to sit in silence with Him. Uh, if you're someone who sits in silence all the time, maybe it means worshiping to a song, doing some worship and doing a worship session. I know for me, if I did that, I'd make sure no one's around because I can't sing and no one wants to hear that. But whatever it is, or getting out in nature, going for a walk, doing something to connect you with God. Not as an outward expression, but just something inwardly. Really taking that moment to open up yourself to who God is. And finding out what He wants to show you and how He wants to grow you. And yeah, I really pray that you'll do that this week. And I hope you've enjoyed... Uh, this little short video, and may God's grace and peace be with you.